Welcome to the Stuart Major Beam Engine Rebuild, this is part 21, vanishing the mahogany top and making the water pump panel. Today my super glue arrived, my medium viscosity cyanoacrylate adhesive to be exact. I'm using this cyanoacrylate to just fill some cracks in the mahogany. Where the pieces are next to each other, they're quite a good fit, but there is a slight gap. So the gap filling properties of this stuff is quite amazing, if you do it like this. You just run some into the crack in the wood and then you wipe off the surplus and using some fairly coarse sandpaper sand it all together and what happens is the sandings from the sandpaper fall into the gap in the wood and suddenly there's no gap. What I'm doing in this clip is simply turning round the base and doing exactly the same at the other end. After sanding the cyanoacrylate into the gaps it's time to use an orbital sander to clean up the entire top surface of the wood. When using an orbital sander on a top surface of mahogany like this, it's very important to keep the sander straight and level, particularly if you're doing it on the deck of a model boat, otherwise the top surface will become quite uneven. As you can see here, there's a slight bit of unevenness between one of the end pieces and the side pieces, but after a good bit of sanding with the orbital sander, these will disappear and it will all become quite smooth. The sandpaper I'm using with this orbital sander at the moment is 80 grit. I did actually get some special sanding sheets with it when I bought it, but I've lost them. They've disappeared. They're somewhere in the workshop. I must have a tidy up. The last remnants of one of them is on the orbital sander, but I did change this for some sandpaper because it was getting very ineffective at cutting. When you're using the corner of an orbital sander like this, you really have to be especially careful not to tip the sander and plough a great big groove in the mahogany. Anyway, I didn't in the end. And here I'm finishing off with some fine wet or dry paper. So once I got a nice smooth finish to this mahogany, I applied the first coat of varnish. I applied it with a cloth and this is of course Ron Seal hard glaze as usual. It's the oil based version, I do not use the water based version. I once did and I found as I built the coats up, it did take on a bit of a milky appearance. So I used the old fashioned smelly stuff. And I don't mean Brute 33 or Old Spice aftershave, this is Ron Seal Hard Glaze Polyurethane Varnish. On this engine bed plate I wanted to incorporate proper pressure union fittings for the water pump, so if it needed to be used to pump water, it could be used to pump water. What I'm doing here is making just a rough template as a guide pattern so I can transfer it to a piece of brass. As it turns out, this guide pattern is far too short. So I threw that away and thought I'd better do something else. So I'm making the frame that I intend to put around the brass piece. All will be revealed if you keep watching. This is just mahogany fastened together with cyanoacrylate adhesive and the clamps are just holding it temporarily until the cyano dries. Once the cyanoacrylate is fully set and all the pieces of mahogany are well held together, it's time to cut them and make them into a little frame like this. This looks very crude at the moment, I'm aware of that, but it will look better in a while. Now I haven't mited the corners on purpose, I did not want a window frame look. For the moment the part is sat on a metal plate with a heavy piece of metal on top of it to hold everything together. While the cyanoacrylate adhesive was drying, I made the metal plate. Drilled a couple of 3 8 holes in it and it looks like this. This brass plate's really going to be held in by the water fittings as well as the wood around it, but I thought what I'll do first of all is put some cyanoacrylate adhesive in and hold it all together. And to make sure that it doesn't wobble about and is flat to the wood, I temporarily screwed in a piece of mahogany, just to hold it in place. Once the cyanoacrylate adhesive had set, I removed the temporary piece of mahogany that was holding the plate to the former, and then drilled all the way through with a 3 8 drill. Then I put a couple of 3 8 by 32 union fittings in the holes and held the mahogany part up to see what it looked like. It's obvious to me that the mahogany part needs more work. I'll be doing that in the next episode and you'll see how it develops. If you've been following this series and I'm hoping you're enjoying it, you will notice there's a lot more to making or renovating a steam engine than just basic metal work. Quite a lot of skills are involved, especially painting. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.